Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another birthday. Um, today we call it our Tuesday uh, birthday palooza. So today is a day that my team and I create nothing but birthday project ideas for you. Okay, so today I am cre I'm actually creating a card. So first of all, before I start, I'm not just in case you didn't read my blog because some YouTubers don't um, go to my blog. I last week I had both of my computer, my big main computer and my actual other computer. They both um, basically crashed on me. So it was it was kind of definitely it was definitely a, it was a stressful week for me. So I didn't do anything. So I had to wait. So I got my new computer and thanks to Apple got it to me super super fast. I'm so excited. So now I am back in my craft room. I did I did do a project yesterday but I didn't do a video so if you want to check out that um, the card I made yesterday you could head on over to my blog um, and you could just and you'll be able to see it. So anyways today I'm making a birthday card so what I use I use my this is one of my favorite sets It's you are cherished um, it just has a whole bunch of cool sentiments and the sentiment I use today is the birthday blessings I use that one and then I use the strip sentiment dies and I believe I use the th one, two, three, the fourth one, I believe. Um, and then I use my rectang rectangle frame die layers, which is the stitched ones, and the regular rectangle frame die. So these ones, they do coordinate together. These ones can layer on top of those perfectly, okay? So I use that. And then from my tall frame die layers. I only use the middle, the, the smallest one, the small long one, okay? Um, and then I use my favorite small holiday bow die, which is this right here. Um, so anyways, I went ahead, so I wanted to show you how I created a card because the purpose of this card, the reason why I chose, I use, let's see, um, let me see what size I used on this one, just in case. Hold on. Oh, I'm I'm measuring the wrong one. Actually, I could measure from this one better. Okay, so I use the one, two, three, the fourth one in. So one, two, three, yeah, number four. The reason why I use this size is because when I'm ready to decorate the envelope, which is this right here, this is the holiday envelope die, that size fits in here perfectly, okay? Um, so that's the reason why I chose this size here, okay? So what we're going to do first... I am going to go ahead and we're going to put this card together. So now in order for it to fit perfectly, you could make your own score it, you know, just kind of do the size, but I like to do it like this. I just cut this out twice and I scored it just like so. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just adhere it together at the top and then it will. So you know what I'm going to do? Let me just kind of bend it a little bit like so. And it's going to fold open at the top like a regular card and let me just kind of just kind of just you know blend it out there a tad bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and just line this up there you go and then that's gonna go ahead and we don't need this anymore let's put this away so this way it could be like a top opening fold card. Now, like I said, you could go ahead and just use these measurements and make a regular, um, make this size card and, um, you know, fold it regular. But I wanted to do it this way. So this way, you see how it opens like that, like a regular card. So that's the way, way I wanted to do this one. Okay, so since this is, isn't that super pretty? Oh, let me show you the paper I'm using. This is an older paper I've had. Um, it's from Kaiser Craft, and it's called Rosabella, and has all these pretty um, patterns in there. Um, and I believe, yeah, this is one of them I use. And here goes the polka dot one right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and adhere this on to the front of our card. Now this is the actual the rectangle, the rectangle layers that coordinate perfectly with this. Oopsie. And the card I made yesterday, um, which I did not do a video on, but basically what I did was I cut out 
two of the bottom layers, two of the big bottom layers, and I went ahead and scored it on the back right there, and I went ahead and I adhered it together exactly like this, because that, the tall dies, I have some coordinating envelopes in my store. And somebody asked, do I have different colors? Unfortunately, I don't. They only come in this color so far, the craft color, which I love, so um, no other colors, unfortunately. They might come out with some new ones, but who knows? Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly show you. Let me grab this die. Um, let's see. Okay, so since this one was obviously not this size, this was way taller. Let me show you. You see this long die here? That's what this die was, but I'm going to show you how I trimmed it down. So what I did was I grabbed the die the same size as, as the actual layer and let me go ahead and grab this. So I'm going to show you how I put it on my um, our plates here when I cut it. So what I did was I went ahead and I put it like this. I went ahead and I put it like this and I taped down. I thought obviously it was longer so I put some tape there and I put some tape there but I after I put the tape I actually turn it upside down because when you turn it upside down that's how it will preserve your um, your little magnetic mat okay so then the cut will then when you run it through so what I did was I ran it through my machine and I stopped it and I put it in reverse and then I ran it I took it out and put it on this side stopped it and put it in reverse so now it's the same size as that rectangle so you'll see where I'm going at with that in a minute because I wanted it to make a, make it look like a little present. So let me go ahead and put this back. I'm trying to put everything back where it belongs instead of having a whole bunch of stuff scattered all over my desk. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and adhere this. There. This is going to be like, you know how when you have a present, there's like a... There's like, they wrap it with the ribbon around. That's what I kind of wanted this to feel like. So this is, I'm going to try and center this the best. And if it's a little off, it's okay. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead. Now this we probably will. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and let me see. Hold on one second. I'm not sure if I want to pop that up or just that. Let's pop this up. Let me grab a pop dot really quick here. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any white ones here with me. So we're just going to use the black ones. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop this guy up here. This is like one of my favorite. I love all of my bow dies, but I think this one's super sweet because I've been making them where you could actually put them in the mail. You know what I'm saying? Where it's flat rather than having to like curve it. I still love the curvy ones. Don't get me wrong because I have a set of those and those are my absolute favorite. Those are my famous bow dies that those one were the best. Uh, best. Those were my first bow dies I came out with. All right, so let's go ahead and that on there and then I'm going to line this up here and then we're going to go ahead and get this part on here the little center that goes in the middle just like so and that's super adorable and then I went ahead and stamped this on there and this is just going to go like so um, so I'm thinking, let me see, I'm just going to tuck that in there. Let me think. You know what, let's just go ahead and just adhere this down. We're going to adhere this down right underneath there. Let me just hold that down just for a quick minute to make sure birthday blessing. Super adorable. 
I love this. Okay, so now I think I want to add some little sequins on here. So let me grab my sequins here. Um, let's see. I think I want to put one right in the center. So let's get a good size one. I may change my mind. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, why not? Let's put that in there. It's super cute. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and use my glossy accents, my favorite adhesive in the whole wide world. All righty. There we go. Just keep it simple. I'm not going to OD on the sequence. Just leave it just like that. So that is it. So that will be ready for the, I'll go ahead and make the envelope a different day when I'm actually ready. Uh -oh. There we go. Hold on. To push it down. You know what? Hold on. There we go. So then when you open it, it'll be able to open like a normal card like so. And you could go ahead and put something in there and it'll stand up. And like I said, it will fit beautifully inside of our holiday envelope die which is back in stock by the way i'm super happy so that is it that is my card for today everyone um go ahead and head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today and thank you so very much for tuning in have a fabulous day i will see you back here soon Bye bye